Hi everybody, this is Charlie from Rust Key Waukesha. Today I wanted to briefly talk about the advantages of perhaps leasing versus owning a vehicle and what might make the most amount of sense based on your preferences and circumstances. So leasing here at Kia generally is either three or four years for the most part and varies between 10,000 miles a year to 15,000 miles a year based on how often you plan to drive the vehicle throughout the duration of your lease. 10,000 miles a year is cheaper than 15,000 miles a year. And generally, most people find the advantage comes to leasing as far as having a lower overall monthly payment. So if you're generally leasing versus financing, on average, for the most part, you're probably gonna be able to lock in a lower monthly payment on that lease versus financing. Also, the advantage of leasing is you simply would be getting a newer vehicle every few years, right? You get a three-year lease, you're constantly upgrading to the next vehicle that's the nicer model, the nicer trim level, uh, taking advantage of the new technology. And you're not gonna have to be worrying about, for the most part, um, out-of-pocket maintenance expenses as far as repair bills most commonly, right? You're gonna have three years or 36,000 miles of that full bumper to bumper coverage from Kia covered for you. So if you have a three year lease, that's 10 or 12,000 miles a year, you don't have to worry about that at all entirely. You're also gonna have gap insurance covered from Kia throughout the full duration of your lease. So if there's any type of total loss of the vehicle itself, you're gonna be covered. You're not gonna owe anything out of pocket as well, which is super nice. Um, generally the downsides of leasing would be if you wanted to make any modifications to your vehicle uh, to modify the appearance to your personal preferences you generally would not be able to do so on a lease since you are renting the vehicle and the vehicle is not yours which kind of brings us to the advantage of overall financing a vehicle the vehicle is yours you do own it you can do whatever you want with it you can build equity in the vehicle um, you can keep the vehicle for as long as you want and the cool thing that there's also kind of a hybrid option between leasing and owning a vehicle. Maybe you know you want the vehicle. It might make the most amount of sense for you to lease the vehicle up front at first for those three or four years, whatever makes the most amount of sense. And then after that, you still want the vehicle, you can finance the buyout amount. A lot of times, sometimes people will do that. And that way you can kind of get the most amount of car that you're looking for for the lowest overall monthly expense. Sure, you might be paying on that vehicle for a little bit longer of a time period um, or more years than you otherwise would have. Uh, but it can generally be the most affordable way, at least on a month to month basis, to afford the most amount of car for the least amount of money. Um, financing might also be a better option if you have less than perfect credit because you're not always going to get approved for a lease as well. So in that case, financing might make the most amount of sense. That way you can build back up your credit and then you'd have the option to lease as your credit gets better on a vehicle purchase in the future. If you have any questions, please reach out to us here at 262 444-5445, myself, Charlie, or any of the sales department or sales managers will be glad to point you in the correct direction. Otherwise, stay safe, happy June, enjoy the nice weather, everybody, and we'll see you soon.